A lot of people were asking me to sort of give an update on uh, the whole situation that happened at Reddit. Now, basically, I'll go into the beginning of it. What happened was a moderator for the UK politics subreddit posted an article that contained a particular name. And that mod was banned, even though all he did was post an article. So the other moderators for UK politics were all scratching their head like, why, why the hell did he get banned for this? What, what is going on? So they contacted the actual Reddit admin team and they managed to figure out that the reason that the guy got banned is because the article contained a, a particular name. Now, the name in particular, as it turns out, this person was the subject of a doxing and harassment campaign, as the Reddit admins have put it. And... The mod was reinstated, like he was unbanned, he was reinstated and it was discovered that there was actually a bot that was scrubbing all of Reddit of all mentions of this particular name. Now why is that? Well first we'll have a look at the post that RUK Politics posted. As you will have noticed, the moderator set the subreddit to private last night. This is not a decision we took lightly, but one that was made to protect both the users and moderators of UK politics. A moderator posted an article from The Spectator which contained a three-word mention in passing of a minor British public figure who was expelled from both the Liberal Democrats and the Green Party and was permanently suspended from Reddit and later reinstated after we contacted the admins for doxing as a result. So basically, the mod that posted the article, the other mods for UK politics, contacted the Reddit admin team and were like, why did you ban our mod? And the Reddit admins unbanned the mod. As we had no idea what happened or why posting this article resulted in a permanent suspension, we took the emergency step of making the subreddit private and immediately contacting the admins for clarification. We took this step to protect both the users of this subreddit and ourselves from further action by the Reddit admin staff because people were getting random bans and nobody had any idea why. It later became apparent that Reddit has hired this individual, so the person whose name, you know, the Voldemort of this situation, is a person that Reddit has actually hired as, a, as an official Reddit admin. And we're banning people from discussing her past to protect their employee from harassment. And then it says, we would ask the following, please do not name this individual at all, please do not ask further questions about them, etc, etc. Right, and then it ended up... <clears throat> that it was still going on if people said the name of this person they would get banned post articles of this person they would get banned and in protest a lot of subreddits went private and blacked themselves out and you might be wondering well why is it, it doesn't there doesn't don't people have like a right to privacy what what could be so wrong about this person that reddit is doing so much to you know banning random people using a bot to completely scrub the site to get rid of people talking about this person well this is why the name in question was Amy Chaloner, who is a transgender politician, well, sort of ex-politician, right? But let's, let's have a look at this. Amy Knight is a former Green Party election candidate, Knight, because I believe she's married now, a transgender activist, former spokesperson for the Green Party of England and Wales. In 2017, she stood for election in Coventry South, receiving 1.3% of the votes. God damn it, you kept got more than that last time. <laughs> In 2018, Chaloner's father, who had been serving as her election agent, was convicted and jailed for the rape and torture of a child. <laughs> Chaloner's recruitment of her father, despite him being charged with, a serious, with serious sexual offences, led to an investigation and Chaloner's suspension from the Green Party. She later resigned and joined the Liberal Democrats, but was suspended from that party in 2019 over paedophilic tweets apparently made by her partner, Chaloner then resigned from Stonewall UK at around the same time, leaving the United Kingdom for the United States. And then it turns out she got a job as a Reddit admin. Now, I know another thing that people were pointing out as well is at the time that this stuff happened with her father, basically, I'm not going to go into the details, but he essentially had a fritzel dungeon in his attic that he used for this child. And allegedly, Amy was living in the house at the time, but apparently knew nothing about it. So whether or not that's true or you believe that, I'll leave that up to you. But I believe that Reddit probably only heard her side of the story and decided to, you know, 
you can't you can't not hire a transgender person. Everyone will think you're racist, <laughs> right? So it turns out that Amy was working for Reddit and then Reddit put in that bot to scrub uh, all mentions of her from the site. But the Streisand effect is a very, very powerful thing, right? So all this did was just make it blow up even more. See, if Reddit had just left it alone, then this wouldn't have blown up. But unfortunately, the more and more you try and censor and cancel something, the more and more that draws everyone's attention towards it. The Streisand effect. And so the blowback was extremely bad. People were kicking off and Reddit was getting accused of protecting paedophiles and, you know, all, all manners of things. So Reddit eventually caved to pressure and I actually have it just down below. Uh, it was confirmed by this brand new account of a person that I, I totally, totally don't know. It's a brand new account. This is this person's first account. This, this isn't their... Uh, 30th account or anything like that uh, basically confirming that Amy Challoner has now been fired been fired from Reddit and that was after huge blowback like subreddits were protesting and blacking themselves out and going private and all this stuff now the problem is this is in fact cancel culture this is cancel culture so even though the things that this person is connected with are absolutely abhorrent Everybody still has a right to put food in their mouth, you know. Everybody still has, you know, should be able to get a job and should be able to work. So, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I do think that the things that this person is associated with are absolutely disgusting, but... Well, this, this stuff about, oh, I had no idea what my dad was doing in the attic. I don't know if I believe it. I don't, I don't think I believe it. But also her uh, husband, Amy Chalinor's husband, has said some, said some things. He's said some things. Apparently he's also wrote a few uh, fan fictions. Not, not the fun kind. But yeah, basically this, this is what, this is what happened. This is what is a. Uh, Happened with Reddit. This was just to give everybody a rundown. Don't know if I'm happy about her uh, being fired, but. Mm, ah, where's the line? It's a difficult question. See if it was something like, oh, she was she was fired for being a member of the Communist Party, or like she was fired because she was a member of, you know, a, a Republican, or fired for like ex political persuasion, or maybe or she, she was fired because she was pro immigration or anti immigration. Then I'd be turning around like, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't you can't ban somebody like fire somebody for that. That's absolute nonsense. But these things might be. <laughs> Might be where the line gets drawn. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a complicated one. I don't know. But also, uh, fuck that bitch. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people were wondering what was going on. So there you go. There's a there's a rundown of it. Um, I believe that this is the end of this escapade. Now, I don't know how I feel about Reddit. I think Reddit... I think the reason Reddit did what they did is they only got her version of events... I believe that's what happened. At least I want to believe that's what happened, which is why, oh, I'm being victimised and I'm being this and I'm being that and blah, blah, blah. And Reddit were like, oh, we will do what we can to protect our employee. And then I think after all of this, all, all the, everything kicked off and the Streisand effect kicked in, Reddit then got all of the facts and got the other side of the story. And that's when Reddit went, oh, hold up, no, and uh, fired her. At least I think that's what happened. I want to give Reddit a little bit of credit, even though it's a awful website <laughs> the, the worst thing about reddit is a uh, r scotland right because a lot of people go into r scotland and think that that's what scottish people are like no no it's not no it's not we aren't we aren't all that stupid <laughs> but yeah but yeah there, there is an update uh i don't i never know how to round off my videos you know what just just go away <laughs>